flocks of robot spy doves. <laughs> I'm wearing a pair of underpants that gives me the answers to questions in quizzes. <laughs> a headband that hears your thoughts. <laughs> now that's kind of a bit amorphous in its description. You, that could be a very reductive um, sort of description of something a little bit more. I'm going to say no. No. It's there. That hears your thoughts. Oh yeah, I suppose because you can control limbs with but it doesn't hear like abstract. Could, I, if I'm thinking you're hot, the thing couldn't. You're not thinking that? Of course I'm thinking that. Go you're a fine looking man. Uh, but it, you wouldn't be able to decipher that kind of abstract. Uh... You know what? Tell that to MIT. Hello, MIT. You're full of shit. Gecko like climbing gloves. I'm gonna make a noise in my mouth while I'm thinking about that. No. I. Know about shit like this. 3D printers that print with living cells. No. Is that real? That's fucking mental. See? Not a bad game after all. It's brilliant. I like how you call them cards, when in actual fact it's on a phone. It's like calling a, um, an iPod a Walkman, isn't it? We still use those. When I say, I still say I'm going to tape something on the television. Let's redefine cards. A magnetic levitation suit. Now that's from Ghost Protocol. I can't think of a reason why that would exist, I'm going to say no. Other than to make Jeremy Renner look good, which he doesn't need a magnetic. I Believe me, I've seen his balls. Memory scanning device. Now is that um, human memory scanning? Yeah. No. Memory recovery device. Of human memories? No. Injecting tiny devices in the brain to monitor its activity. I would probably say that is true. Little people. Christ almighty, that's amazing. See, we're capable of great things yeah. as a species, do you know what I mean? We didn't let, us, let ourselves down in other areas. Hello, George Orwell. Welcome to reality. Injecting microchips under the skin. Oh, that is old news. I, get, I, I have one of those to get into my house. No way. Yeah. My, I've got a scanner on my door. No, no. Really. Bonus. MI6 has a secret office under a tube station in London. Well, that's not true because otherwise it wouldn't be written here. Because <laughs> then it wouldn't be a secret. Oh, another bonus. MI6 agents have a license to kill. Um, I guess some do in field agents. I mean, they're going to tell you that, aren't they? But there's going to be like deep cover agents in the field that can do that shit. They're not going to tell us. It's true. I mean, you've got people out there working in the, you know, in the depths of statecraft. They're not going to pack. They're not going to not pack heat. There's going to be a lot of people out there with lasers, with watches, with knives up them. I'd like to think I'm quite a logical thinker. I do have a, I, I, I try and keep my finger on the pulse of modern technology, um, not least because I find it very interesting. But um, there were ones in there that I was surprised by, not least Headband Thought Reader. Wait, do they look like doves? Mm -hmm. Or are they just drones? No, no, no. Oh, I'd say that's real then. Guess where? Uh, Prince's house? No, no, China. China, yeah. where it all happens. Yes, I can best. A flock of robot spy doves. It sounds almost poetic.